What's up everyone, welcome back to Switchcraft and it's a great day to be a gamer. Today, I wanted to talk about something that's long overdue on all of our favorite consoles. There's a rumor going around that as early as this week, November 8th, we'll be seeing a YouTube app on the Nintendo Switch. A lot of sources have seen the YouTube icon on the Nintendo Store with the release date of November 8th. Let's talk about what this could mean for Nintendo's latest console and if it could be the beginnings of a Nintendo Direct this Thursday. Now. People have been asking for YouTube on their Switch since almost the date released in 2017. And if these screen grabs are any indication, it may appear that we're finally getting it. Prior to filming, I couldn't find it on the website, which leads me to believe that it was a fake, which wouldn't be too hard to make, or that it was posted accidentally and then taken down. It blows my mind how many times we find out about things because some silly web developer causes something to go live by accident. Whatever happens to those people? Anyways, let's think about YouTube if we do get it on our Switch. The first and most obvious thing will be that there will be a ton of YouTube videos right after about people talking about YouTube on their Switch that you could watch on your Switch. And boy is that great. Less obvious though, is the need for this app to be done right. I hope it's quick, responsive and minimizes the number of crashes. One question I do have is about YouTube Red. Now, if you're signed up for YouTube Red, some of the cool features are that it lets you download videos and watch them offline. And if you're watching on a cell phone, it lets you put your phone into sleep mode with the audio still going. It'd be sweet, but I'm gonna go into this with low expectations so I don't get disappointed, and I'm gonna assume that both of those features will be skipped. Basically, we'll only be able to watch videos ad-free. Regardless, you can then add YouTube to the list of app that you can now use to get more content on the Switch. I'm of course talking about Hulu. As far as I can tell, it's never really taken off. YouTube has the stage set to completely take over this system. But bigger picture, what does this mean for the Switch and other apps that we can expect? Well, another big one would be Twitch for the Switch. Uh, this would be an absolutely huge uh, landmark for the console and pull it even or closer to even with PC gamers, the Xbox and the PS4. Right now, obviously, you would have to get a capture card and hook your switch up to the PC if you wanted to broadcast on Twitch. Broadcasting right from the console would be pretty tight, but probably require a complete Nintendo Switch app overhaul or the ability to have native voice chat. Even overhauling the phone app would still mean you'd have to have it with you when you're streaming. And that kind of defeats the purpose of a standalone unit. Now, it'll have to go the way of Fortnite and allow you to do it natively. I can't tell if this would even be a project Nintendo would be interested in, and it looks like there's going to have to be uh, pretty involved work done on the back end. A little bit less work having to be done on the back end would be for an app that finally gives us access to Netflix for the Switch. Netflix has already said publicly that the app is ready and it's just up to Nintendo to give them the go ahead and release it if YouTube is set to come out on November 8th. Is it possible that it's not the only app set to drop on that day? Is it possible we have an overhaul coming to the Switch firmware and a mistakenly posted YouTube app icon was just the tip of the iceberg? I'm going out on a limb here, but if all that is true, and I know it's already a stretch, then what do you think the chances a couple apps dropping on November 8th isn't all we're getting? Many have speculated that they have rumored inside information of a second Nintendo Direct happening this quarter leading up to the Christmas season. Could this be that second Direct? They were right about getting a standalone Smash Direct. Could this be the last chance Nintendo takes to build hype leading into the North American and European buying season? They're still standing by their forecast of 20 million Switches sold this fiscal year, and they'll need a huge Christmas. What could possibly build more hype for the system? What could be added to the system bolstering its third party and free content support? What could keep Nintendo on the minds of the about 27 people on earth not excited about the Smash Bros Ultimate? Sounds like just the thing we could find out on November 8th in a direct. What do you think? Is there any logic to my lunatic conspiracy theory? Are these supposed leaks and rumors lining up just right for another direct in a few days? Luckily, we won't have to wait long or speculate much longer to find out. I know I'll be constantly refreshing my YouTube app November 8th. What about you? 
It's a great day to be a gamer. Switchcraft out.